Hello my friends, this is the Photoshop Workbench. I'm Mark Johnson. It's marvelous to have you here. In today's Workbench, I'm going to show you a quick and dirty yet awesomely effective technique for adding grunge, drama, and edginess to a scene. To accomplish this effect, we'll use a combination of HDR toning, blend modes, and a mask. So you can see the uh, image that we're working with here is definitely the sort of image that can benefit from some edginess. Uh, this is a photo composite I did where I combined a couple, couple of things that I really love which are tornadoes and baseball. <laughs> so perfect candidate for sort of this grungy, dramatic, edgy treatment. You're gonna see this is actually not at all hard to accomplish. We're gonna begin by duplicating the image and we'll choose image, duplicate to do that. Don't worry about naming it, go ahead and press OK. And then this duplicate is going to be HDR toned. Now we're toning the duplicate so that we can then combine it with the original to create the edgy look. So that means we're going to come up here to image adjustments and pick HDR toning. Now HDR toning only works on a flattened image. So uh, this is a flattened image, it's working fine. If you're working on one that uh, was not flattened, you would first need to choose layer flatten image on the duplicate file, on the duplicate file, okay? And once you're flattened, you can choose image adjustments, HDR toning. All right, in here, what we're interested in, in um, achieving is a black and white look that has wonderful drama to it. So we wanna begin by reducing the saturation to minus 100. Pull all of the saturation out of there. Now the most important slider in here for accomplishing this look is the detail slider. How far you go is going to be based on your own personal preference and practice. Uh, but keep in mind that if you go too far or not quite far enough, um, there are ways in the next couple of steps to control uh, the look of this. So I'll go up to maybe right here. Okay, maybe right there. And now I'm going to play around with the strength and radius. And I just want to make this look grungy and edgy, kind of the way I would like it to actually look, but minus the, um, the halos and the artifacts that we're seeing right now. So those will, those will go away. I'll move the strength slider here. Get something like that. Now I notice in this particular image that the highlights are um, really blowing out so I'm going to move the highlight slider. You won't always need to do this but I want to pull those highlights back in just like this. There we go. I'm going to play around one more time with the detail slider here. There we go. Okay. Looking pretty good. So you can see there's original and there's where we are. I'll press OK. Now we're going to import this uh, HDR toned image into the other one. I'm going to do that just by moving it aside, activating the move tool, holding shift, and dragging this on top of the other one. You could also do this with um, selecting all. You could choose select all and then edit copy and then move over to the other document and do edit paste. That would work too. So here is the toned layer on top of the original. All right. We want to blend this toned layer with the original picture by changing the blend mode here from normal to either overlay, which is a bit intense, although we have an opacity slider, soft light, which is looking really good, or hard light. So if you want a really edgy look, you're going to go with hard light or overlay, and those are refinable, and I'll show you how in a moment. Um, and in this case, I think soft light Oh yeah, soft light is just about perfect. If I turn the visibility on and off for this layer, I love the edginess that has come to this scene just by HDR toning and then changing the blend mode to soft light. If it's a little over the top, whether you're using soft light, overlay, or hard light, you can always back down the opacity and set it right where you want it. So I might back it down just a tiny bit to that. Now something else you can do here. If you find that that edginess is looking great, say on your subject, so the baseball player with the tornado bat looking really cool, but back here in the uh, clouds and 
in the even in the grasses to a degree it's looking just a little bit too edgy so I'm going to add a mask to this layer by clicking right here now I'm going to grab the brush tool and I can tap B to get to that very quickly I can size it using the right bracket key bigger left bracket key smaller and I can change the opacity up here by just tapping a number on the keyboard one for ten percent four for forty percent zero for a hundred percent I'm gonna go with uh, thirty percent so I'll tap three and I'll paint over these areas right here where I don't want quite so much edginess in fact I may paint over that area right there again up here I'll paint over these a couple times so I'm lifting my finger from the mouse anytime I want to build the effect in down here I think I'll paint a little bit as well as out here and then of course down into here as well there we go now you can see here's the mask painting with 30 percent and sometimes painting over an area more than once after lifting my finger from the mouse um, that means I am where you see uh, dark gray paint the effect is having just a subtle effect on the image below uh, where you see a light gray it's having a uh, pretty strong but not full effect and where you see white is having a full effect we're getting the full grunginess so here's before on this and here is after. So you can see it's um, not hard at all to accomplish this wonderful dramatic edgy look um, just by creating a duplicate that we HDR toned and drained the color from then using either overlay soft light or hard light blend mode uh, back in the original document and then masking away areas where the effect is a little bit too strong. So before and after. Thanks so much for being with me on the Photoshop Workbench. Go out and create something beautiful today.